hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to the channel welcome thank you for stopping by and if you're not new welcome back my old garden buddies this farmer Nadia here with you today because I'm gonna show you how to really fill your waste bed so we have a new plot going on. I'm gonna fill, do this video with you guys so we could garden together. So if you have your waste bed, you want it to do something with it. So let's do this together. So here my first little piece of garden, but I have my kitchen garden, early part of the the garden season I post where I plant the kale, the, you know, the pak choy, and I don't eat every, most everything, so. But this video is about today to show you how to fill your waste bed. You know now to say, well, I may be in a budget. I have some waste bed to fill. And I clear this whole section, guys. Sorry, I clear this whole section. So it's a mess right now. But listen, we can do this together. And we can see the ugly and the prettiest together. So let's do this um seven of them one two three four five six seven that's eight eight big waste bed to fill and three small one to fill but the small one is not in place yet and because i'm about i wanted to transform this whole area but i have some old waste bed i taken them off so i doing some work also already and I do when this whole section over. Only thing would really we mean here is um these old waste bed right here. They're gonna stay there because you know they have some stuff on them and they ain't fully finished yet. So they'll stay there until actually we get the next set of waste bed and then we'll take it from there. So as you can see, all the waste bed lay laid on. We already put them in place. And it's also going to be a, a high tunnel to walk in for my beans, everything else to, to, to go underneath this new area what we are doing together. So that's our garden. So if you're new to this channel, if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe because we have a lot to do in 2022. So this is January 5th and it's about 6 o'clock. And we do this um, video. So stay tuned, guys, because we are about to transform this whole section there into something new. So that's my waste bed. And as you can see, I already filled it with some. Actually, when I rest the waste bed down, this trash was there, so I just lay it over it. As you can see, this is my waste bed. And this is the one within the back of the garden where I'm going to take the tunnel from the back and bring it up, you know, and this is my um, allspice tree in the back here. So we're going to take it from there. So all of these is trash it was already to the bottom of the beds. We are about to do this together. So that's how it started. This is the background. And this what I put in the raised bed. So let me explain to you. You may be on a budget. You have a budget to say, okay, then I don't have enough money to put these um, waste bed together to fill them up or put soil on them, X, Y, Z. You could use any dry bush, but could a compost down later than. You put stuff with gonna compost down, we're gonna deteriorate and turn to soil. We're gonna give you microbe, we're gonna give you um some nice worm and stuff like that. That's the stuff which you need to put down there. So like this is old trash. And all of these, Danny, I'm gonna pick all them up and I'm gonna finish full all these waste bed with it. And then when I finish with that, I will come back and top it up with this soil but this soil was already in the bottom of one of my um the existing waste bed and this good compost so i will top it up to it and i'll put a layer of fresh soil with that so whatever 
worm to the bottom of this so well everything was gonna you know go back inside the the bed so this is right here well that's his example i start this one yet i put nothing down to this one yet but um i'm gonna do the the video to show you how you should fill your waist bed you don't have to be like um um fill this one with like all kind of soil no you could put stuff there to deteriorate and then um to deteriorate down and when you get that nice rich organic soil down there listen guys huh? the dog sleeping I don't know. You could find out. No, they're not sleeping. I hear they say, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. So that's what you can do. So, and I also wanted to add some seaweeds to them, to the soil, to, you know, help me where I wouldn't spend so much money, fill it up with dirt. And I also, I also, going to add some brown mulch i ain't want no color mulch i want red i don't want red mulch actually i want brown mulch the brown mulch when i put the brown mulch in that so that's gonna help me with um some space for the soil where it wouldn't actually take that much soil from the actual bed so i'm gonna put some with some brown mulch to the bottom of the bed and then add Hi. Hi. And the top of this, I'm gonna top it up with some brown mulch. Watch it, baby. Nails on them. Put brown mulch in the top of that. Depend what you wanna grow, you know. So you're gonna add these back some nitrogen on some phosphate back on this soil, so it could stay. You know, give you what you really want it to do. Taking take care of the garden, take care of your plants, and take care of your soil. Once you have a rich soil and you water your plant on time, you um inspect for insect. You you should be good, but you have to water it. You can't just put the stuff in the soil and then don't take care of it and expect the plant to take care of itself. And I ain't gonna lie to you, I guilty of it. I try it uh, a few times, but and I see what it does. So. Right now, I'm trying to do better, you know, but how I, as I'm trying to do better, I want you guys to let us do it together. So, you know, you will learn the same thing what I learned. If I could grow a tomato, you could grow a tomato too. You might could have grow a tomato better than me, you know, so let's do this together. So, like I said, thank you for stopping by this the year 2022. We're going to garden together in this, our new plot. We do it together. You have any question? You have any? Uh, you need any answer? Just you know, drop it in the link below, and then we will answer you. Or like I said, you can find me at Divine Favor Nursery and Landscaping. You could stop by, and then we could also talk. I will give you some ideas how the bed supposed to look when you finish. You know, so you finish so i show you the wrist bed all of these is the wrist bed that i do some of them already have some um stuff on them but the stuff with inside of them is stuff what was there before and i just rest the bed over it so i'm about to move all of these stuff dirt and then fill them up and then when i fill them up and i will do another video with that and to show you what i add to it and you know how it look and then when we finish, and then we'll start planting together. So stay tuned. Enjoy this day. Thank you.